Hey guys, my name's Sam and welcome to PrepMedic. In this week's video, we are reviewing the ReadyPack 2.0 by Vertex. All right, so you guys already know my relationship with Vertex. I have an affiliate link with them that will give you 25% off anything on their website and then does go to support the channel. I'll leave the code on the screen if you wanna use that. That being said, I've been using Vertex for years, well before I have had a YouTube channel, going back to the Gamut 1.0 that I used probably for three or four years, and then the Gamut 2.0, which I've been using up to this point. So Vertex is always coming out with new products. They recently came out with this drawstring gym bag um, that's really versatile and it's awesome. They've come out with a lot of new colors and everything like that. This is not one of their new products. Well, it is one of their new colorways, but the Ready Pack 2.0 has been on the market for a year or two, the 1.0 a little bit longer than that. So Sam, why are you reviewing a product that's been on the market for a while? And I'll tell you, this bag came to me. I don't even know why it was sent to me. Um, it just kind of arrived in the mail one day with no instructions. I don't have to do a video on this. And at that point, I was going through orientation at my new job on the helicopter. I was trying to finish up my bachelor's degree, which I'm still trying to do. Uh, found out my wife's pregnant. So needless to say, I am stressed. Stressed in a good way, but stressed nonetheless. And really what I found is going to work every day having my Gamut 2.0 backpack with all of the things in it. I know I go overboard. I know that I pack more than I need to in it, and I like doing that. But with all of that stress, I was having a hard time keeping up with my equipment, making sure things were stocked, not expired, uh, in the right place. And I wanted to simplify. So enter the Ready Pack 2.0. This pack is much smaller, it's much easier. I can't carry near as much in it, but it is easy, which is why I think this pack and this video will appeal to you guys, because it's realistic. I'm not always a realistic guy with my everyday carries. I'm not always carrying the most uh, plausible things for uh, the everyday Joe to be carrying on the street. So I've pretty much switched into this for work. Now, in comparison, if you look at the gamut 2.0 next to it, they're actually not that different. Uh, the Gamut 2.0 is a lot bigger. It has a lot more micro organization on the inside. It's got a lot more admin panels, all of that. I've got a video I'll link up here or there. I don't even know which side it'll be on. Uh, to kind of show you this pack, it's the review I did a while ago and all of the things I carry in it. But this one on the inside, like I said, the reoccurring theme is it's simple. So the outside of this pack here, uh, they don't actually tell you what this material is. It's a nylon, it's sturdy, it's not going to break down on you. Uh, down here they have kind of their standard uh, loop panel that you can put some morale patches on. So I like to have one from work and then my prep medic patch there. I don't have these for sale yet, but I'm hoping to find a way to get these out to you in the near future. So that's kind of cool if you do want to put something on it. What's nice is that it's pretty low key, nondescript, so it's not super tactical looking. And that's what I like about Vertex products is they're not super obviously tactical unless you're in the industry and you know what you're looking for. Um, on the outside here, coming around, you've got these water bottle holders. Now, one of my big complaints with the Gamut 2.0 was that these guys had a pocket behind them and it made it so you couldn't really fit large water bottles in there. I've got a, I think it's a 30, that's uh, something. It's, it's a big flask that goes in here um, and it fits no problem. You can fit almost any size water bottle in there within reason. And then it has pull tabs on the inside uh, that you can use to cinch up next to the water bottle if you're carrying something that's a little bit smaller. Um, the back here, you've got kind of the standard uh, vertex back panel, vertex straps. This isn't a hiking backpack. That's not what this is meant to be. This is meant to be a school pack, something you're wearing to the office. It's literally meant as an everyday backpack, um, but I would not be taking this on any backpacking trips. Uh, the back panel here is their logo, and it's basically just uh, raised nylon that's padded and gives you a little bit more airflow. Like the Gamut 2.0, and we'll go into the other pocket here shortly, but you can put armor in this, and then this allows for an arm pass-through. You could use this as a kind of a makeshift ballistic shield, but you can also take this and put it on top of a suitcase handle if you're rolling it through the airport and don't want to carry it on your back. 
something like that. Just one other option, which I think is kind of nice. Now, the pockets on the front. What makes Vertex products great is that they are designed with kind of the tactical EDC user in mind. Uh, like I said, though, they don't look like that, but they usually have some kind of hidden Molly panel. So this right here zips down and this folds out. You've got a Molly panel here. I think it's five rows of PALS webbing. You've got the loop backing if you did want to put a morale patch or stick one of their Tactigami holsters or a medical pack here, you could put this on there. Now, I'm not going through what I carry on this. I'll usually put a small IFAC um, up here just for something to have if uh, stuff hits the fan while I'm walking to work or in my car. At least I know I have something on me. What's cool about this is you have a storage pocket down here that you can put stuff. Um, I'll usually bring a change of clothes, like some gym shorts, uh, extra boxers, socks, things like that, especially in the summer um, when it's super hot out. And I like throwing that on the outside because it's just separated from everything else in my pack. I can still get to my laptop on the main pocket without having to dig through my laundry. But what you can also do with this, if you like that more overt look, you can take this flap, you can fold it right down, and now you have more of a traditionally tactical looking pack. I should mention that this comes in a lot of different colorways. This one is the OD Green Smoke Gray, which is one of their new colorways. Um, they've got a couple really bright colors, a couple really subdued colors. I think they had this at Multicam at one point, but I don't think they have that anymore. Uh, just some options for you. This is indented. You can put actually a pretty big pack here and still zip this over it. This will expand right here. It's got these uh, wings in it, so it's going to look a little bit more bulgy, I guess. Um, but it's not going to be super overt. You can carry relatively bulky items. Be aware that if you are uh, mollying something to the top here, that means that you'll be unable to get to the bottom quite as easily if you want to use that as a storage compartment. Coming into the front uh, on this pocket, this is kind of your admin pocket. It replaces what on most packs is right here for like pens and pencils. It folds down and you'll notice that everything inside this pack is this brown color. It's light, which I really like because then when you're putting gear in here, it's easy to see it. You're not digging around. Um, in a black backpack on the inside under shadow uh, with a bunch of black equipment because that's what most um, everyday carry stuff is. So on this side, you've got this. And usually I'm carrying like just some right and rain notepads because I use those a ton at work and I go through them like crazy. So I'll put those in here. You have a zipper. All these zippers are YKK. And you have this anti-abrasion mesh, which is one of the improvements from the 1.0 to the 2.0. Um, in here, I usually put like a USB drive and just some of my extra computer equipment zips up, keeps it organized. And then on either side here, you've got just some pen pockets, knife pockets, flashlights, whatever you want to carry. And of course, you could just put something free floating at the bottom of this. You can attach a lanyard to this if you want to put your keys in there and have them kind of free floating. Uh, nice pocket right on the outside and it will actually carry a pretty large volume of things. I usually do have like my toiletry roll right at the bottom of that so I can get to it pretty easily. Coming to the back of the pack before we get into the main pocket, we've got kind of the uh, standard Vertex concealed carry pocket. I don't carry off, uh, off body with my firearm, but this panel right here is all a loop backed uh, material. So you can take one of their Tactigami holsters, you can put your pistol in here, you can mount magazines, mount med kits, uh, or even just documents laying flat on here. No worries whatsoever. And then on this side, this is a nylon material, but underneath you can actually slip up your armor plate. I will tell you that I've been using the Safe Life Defense backpack armor for my Gamut 2.0. That is actually too wide to go in here. So. Uh, there's a couple different brands that actually make armor specifically designed for the ready pack and the gamut that you can buy and slide it up into that. It will also give it a little bit more rigidity. All right, so coming into the main pocket of this pack, um, this does not open all the way like the gamut does. It only opens down to the water bottle holster. So uh, if you want something that kind of splays open, you can see all the contents laid out. This pack might not be for you, but you have the standard kind of quick draw handle up here. You can put if you have like an SBR that you store in here with a folding uh, brace or something like that, you can put that in there. And then this is just a fast pull tab. You can open it um, or you can stow this on the inside. It's no problem. Once again, you have this light fabric that's going to make it so you can see things on the inside and you have that same loop backing uh, here so you can put morale patches if you want something on the inside of the pack when you open it up 
pretty easy to store them on there. Once again, they're Tactigami holsters and you have the same thing right here going all the way into the laptop pocket. In the lid, and something I really like is you have the standard um, admin pocket, so you have places for knives, flashlights, pens. I don't keep anything heavy up here because usually my laptop's sitting in the sleeve, and if I'm throwing this pack around, I don't want something hard or heavy hitting the top of my laptop and breaking it. That's an expensive uh, tool that I use for YouTube and homework and all of that other stuff. Uh, this front lid, you have one big pocket with this anti-abrasion mesh. Uh, below that, you have more of this loop backing, so you can do like more magazines under there or different organi organizers or just put something at the bottom. I really like this mesh. Um, it's held up very well in all the Vertex packs I have. So on this other side, um, in the uh, Gamut 2.0, you have a removable uh, laptop sleeve here. This one is just a bungee nylon laptop sleeve. It fits up to a 15 inch uh, laptop. My guess is, is you could probably get a 17 inch in here. It would just be a little bit difficult uh, to get it to sit properly. So you have this. One complaint I do have about this pack is that this actually goes all the way to the bottom. It's not lifted off the ground of this pack. So while this is relatively padded down here, if you did put it down too hard, there is a potential for damaging the laptop. Some of their other packs, they actually have it sitting above, so it protects it just a little bit more. Once again, though, I'm not worried about it. I do carry my laptop in this every single day going to work, and I have yet to have any damage, dings, dents uh, appear on my MacBook. And it is an aluminum body, so you do see those things pretty quickly if they occur. The pack itself down here is pretty big, so you can put a bunch of stuff down here. I usually um, have like an electronics organizer, or if I'm bringing like a microphone or even my camera, I have a case I can put it in here for work uh, and take it pretty easily. A couple other just small little features. If you do want a bladder in this, you have this hook here that can store the bladder, can go right in the laptop pocket, and then you have two openings here that will allow the tube to come out on the right or left. As far as the straps go, I don't think there's really anything special about this pack here. They're comfy, you're not gonna know you're wearing it, especially with the loads this is designed to carry. Um, you have this chest strap here, which is really easily removable. Um, you can just come in here, pull those out, pull this guy off, and then you don't have uh, that chest strap. Generally, it also comes with a waist strap. It's just one little nylon loop. I don't like those. I never use those, so I pulled that off like the first thing I did. I took that off this pack. I don't think it's really needed. Some people like it just because it gives you some side-to-side uh, -side mobility, especially with heavier loads. And then you do have buckles down here that you can take the strap off. Um, if you are loading this with armor, you can take these off and then uh, clamshell this all the way open to help install that armor or potentially if you are drawing a firearm from it you can release one side it'll swing to the other um, and allow you to draw your firearm a little bit easier. So like I kind of said at the beginning of this video this is a relatively standard backpack for Vertex. Um, it does have those tactical features that you kind of come to expect from them uh, things that make this a really good EDC pack but it's not over the top you know this has a lot of very real world applications even if you aren't a guy like me and like to carry every little thing med kits knives flashlights all of that stuff uh, this is still a regular backpack and will work very well for you I like the organization on it I like the size it's big enough to store what you need but not so big you're just trying to fill pockets. So I have a lot of video projects I'm hoping to release. I'm hoping to do kind of a career update from how I got to where I am. I want to do a channel trailer, which uh, takes a lot of editing, but I'm excited to do. And then I've got a lineup of products coming to review. So if you have any questions, if you have any video requests, please leave them in the comments down below, and I will see you next week.